Once again, Merch Table in the back. Thank you so much for coming out. This is uh, so very special to me. I hope it's special to you as well. And I want to bring to this stage a lady by the name of Bump Girl! All right, Bump Girl, you have a document or spell in your hands, sure to fill this room with even more magics. You can do, you can do it. You can do it. It's all fine. There you go. Hi, thanks. Hi. Hi. Just rip it open. It has a little thing, and it doesn't work. Oh, wait. <laughs> Don't take that literally. <laughs> it's a general model of this entire podcast. This room looks drunk. This is a drunk looking room. I'm what? not as fuck as you drunk I am. Once again, please, please, please tip your staff. What do we got here? What you got? The Trojan horse that is feminism. Uh, hell yeah. Is, is Zekka on Minecraft? Because I'm going to dig a really big pit and Zekka's going to fall in it and stay there forever. Okay. Um, this is a uh, ma mag magic, ma magic spell of evil provided by... Zekka! Thanks, Zekka. Yeah, Zekka! Yeah, Zekka! Yeah. Uh, this is a sentence. Okay, so we're going to get through this together. The organized crime, which is against men, married, or and, and slash, or slash and unmarried, ampersand marriage, that which is known as feminism is legalized criminality or slash and mental disorder. Only a man can write a only a man can write a sense that is that good, really. Okay, the, the organ fuck that. Never mind, we're never doing that again. Uh, okay. <laughs> I hate you, Zekka. The Trojan horse that is feminism, created by feminists, are attempting to rewrite the Eighth Amendment of the USA to enslave the male species. <laughs> I oh, love that's, that sounds really hot. That sounds really hot. Thank you. Uh, I'm so happy that I was worried about this, but I see now that it's written by a biologist, a true scientist, so everything's going to be <laughs> fine. Okay. Through slash parentheses by having end parentheses the courts to create a fascist rule by feminist ampersand their army of cops as their pimps <laughs> similar to that of the parenthesis fictional or was it fictional and parenthesis capital Amazons equally shallow as the men they wish to be free of Everyone's following this completely clearly, right? Like, I, total, f okay, good, 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 yeah. Men okay. good, women bad. Because this next part is gonna blow your fucking minds. Like, forget the fucking red pill, this thing is fuchsia. <laughs> Jesus, into schizophrenia, or he was a con artist, like his mother was likely a conist, con artist or slash and brainwashed by Jewish priests to take on the role that she did after committing adultery and it even possible that he was prostitute. So both false gods but worshipped which shows how fickle humans are why there is no such thing as democracy which is an illusion in the USA which was created by a con artist the so-called 
founding fathers of the USA were not working for democracy, more for, but for the elite merchant class who were Jews. Feminism! There's four pages of this. Where the fuck are we going to end up? Holy, okay, let's keep going. We've got to get through this. We've got to get through this. Okay. That, that was the destroyer of the great Roman Empire, which also had excess which, like feminism, will bring down the USA into another third civil war, maybe in, in the year 2345. So clearly in the year 2124 was the second civil war, and uh, the, uh, we'll get to that, don't worry. Everything will make sense. Second I'm, one's kind of a wash, honestly. You can skip it. Okay. I'm going to take you at that and like just fucking throw one of these pages. Uh, okay. With the Second Civil War being feminist... Oh, see? I was right. I was right. Feminism in the 20th century by feminists who are anti-marriage extremists who will bring down USA, which is under threat not from foreign terrorists, but excess from feminists, which is the greatest threat this country, USA, and the world is under or has ever faced worst... Worst than any nuclear or slash and biological attack. Yeah, can, you, can you guys think of anything Honestly, worse? Honestly, boots... I really can't. I, I got really 99 can't. problems and bitches are all of them. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was warned that I might be offended by this and I really am because they keep on doing or slash and and not and slash fucking or. God damn it. Yeah. Okay. Speaking of which, and any feminists, uh, oh, square brackets, one of many Pandora's boxes, most recent being feminism, which, who turn cops into pimps, but then these same feminists complain about guys acting like pimps, colon, talk about being an oxymoron, colon, stupidity, in many different forms, this being one of many. End square bracket, but start a new one. Male for slash and female. Okay, is anyone fucking following this? Okay, 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 yeah. That it, okay, that attempts to destroy marriage institution between a man and a woman should be very quickly ignored. You now have feminists that are trying to marriage into prostitution, which is illegal, but they want alimony, child support, and palimony. And just as a bad apple in a basket full of good apples will ruin that basket full of good apples, feminists, that bad apple will ruin this great nation that is USA and rest of the world and pull into a dark age in a manner <laughs> that a cow with mad cow disease, which is contagious, as this is evil feminism. Hail Satan. No, 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 no. That is the problem of having an army of Neanderthals enforcing the law, colon. That is, they enforce the law blindly, without any common sense, making the police bad as or worse than the criminals, which the police were hired to reduce. But from what I see of the cops on TV, they seem the police seem bad or as worse than the criminals, which is bad. Police laugh about beating up of people like hoodlums. Not right. Uh, many, no, wait. many sides. Okay, we, now we have some accounting and some negative energy and women wanting to act on the act, enforcing the law blindly. Um, but don't worry. The movie, okay. the movie I bought simplifies that there is greater force than either God or slash ampersand Satan. Uh -huh. I don't think so, really. No. In the, in the movie I bought, symbolism is dual between creator God, ampersand Satan. The creator is the white scientist, and Satan is symbolized by the black dude um, wanting his Sorry, woman. Sorry, the black dude. 
That's America's black dude, thank you. Okay, uh, but the creator rescues Satan, who backstabs the creator after Satan is rescued by the creator. The creator is killed by Satan, but not before creator accidentally imprisons Satan, his imprisonment symbolized by the society that the creator created. This is Revelations, motherfucker. In the movie I bought, where did this fucking come from? Um, the black dude has nightmare. <laughs> maybe plural, maybe only one, which is symbolic for him wanting white girl, whom he failed to rescue, but he probably... Oh, my Lord, there is square brackets, parentheses, and curly brackets in this paragraph. I think you say that in a shouted whisper. But he probably... Assuming he, the black dude, is an incompetent in terms of morals, cop set the whole thing up so he could play the hero but didn't have enough negative energy to succeed, symbolizing that she, I don't know who that is anymore, was a minor and was out of his reach. So, anyway... <laughs> He would later create a more elaborate conspiracy to get a white woman, that of the scientist who rescues him, using a more complex plan or slash and conspiracy so that he would not fail a 2 and D time. The creator of the iBots gets the same hashtag of points, that of the black dude, who wants to use his points for to attract a white woman rather than for science. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Uh, to digress. <laughs> hey. The egg-shaped quintessence is symbolized by their high status, equivalent to that of a woman. The robots would be at one unit less than their master, quintessence, just as most of the iBots were at C3, except for one, which was at C2, symbolizing Adam, while his sister robot symbolized Eve. Oh, this is the plot of Neon Genesis, uh, Geon Genesis Evangelion. Okay, it all makes sense now. Who tried to get rid of harm, cripple, and tried to kill Satan, but didn't succeed, for Satan was too lucky to get killed symbolizing that evil never dies. And her younger brother, the sentient iBot, was too inexperienced not to be brainwashed by Satan, the sentient iBot, to obey him to destroy his sister, who was trying to prevent him from stealing the creator's woman after Satan killed the creator. Colin, show that the audience will believe whatever they're told. Yeah! To believe you're that... All, you're all such idiots. To believe that they're told to side with the Satan, which is what the audience do. Okay, do it, audience. Okay, yep. This is still the same sentence. Symbolize that government knows that the people are fools when it comes to politics, just as the white woman... Thinks that Satan is good <laughs> because she is seduced by him. Satan. I am not reading the last line. <laughs> okay, no, I'll read it. So do not trust feminists nor pimps, who fancy, as the only pimp a woman should be allowed to have is her husband. <laughs> Pop girl! I think we just committed a hate crime? <laughs> Fuck you, Zekka! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> We're going to take one more quick break. We are going to be back with a little bit.
little bit more F Plus Live and some wonderful, wonderful, magical things. Uh, come on back. And well, I mean, stay, stay here. Don't like if you leave and come back, it'll be like weird. So you should actually just like stay here. Okay, bye.